Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here. And before we get started, let's get the shout outs out of the way. Today's shout outs goes to Cam Footyich and Joe DiMagico. <laughs> both were first to say first in recent videos, and thus they both win a shout out. So, congratulations to both of you. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with another neat review of another neat new helicopter or quadcopter. This is the HY83 GPS drone. Yes, this is a GPS drone. It is more or less a toy grade drone with a camera, 1080p, or actually it's 720p camera, sorry about that folks, but with a GPS system built in it. So you can actually fly this and if you get into trouble, uh, it will come back and return to home and land on its own. Okay, so you have a hard time having a flyaway with this. Now, uh, what else does it have? It has, again, GPS. With GPS, you have return to home, obviously, and uh, land at its takeoff point. And again, it'll do such on loss of signal, on command. If you press the button on the controller to tell it to come back, it'll do that. And also on low battery, it'll it'll make a beeline back home and, and land at its uh, takeoff point. Uh, also, with the GPS, if you use the VS GPS app, and you'll get additional features of Follow Me, and waypoints ability through this. Now let's take a close look to see what else comes with it. It has a 720p HD camera with FPV capability that you can view on your phone. You can view the FPV video on your phone using the VS GPS app. Now it looks like it has a SD card slot but this slot is inoperative. Do not insert an SD card in there or you will lose it. This only records to your phone via the uh, VS GPS app. So if you want to record uh, video it's going to record directly to your phone only now it also comes with a motorized gimbal that can raise or lower the camera remotely using your control the controls of your remote controller to uh, adjust it unfortunately mine seems to be an operative defective but the camera still works so I'll be able to take video but I won't be able to demonstrate that up or down feature of that particular uh, of this camera um, other than that, again, it's a brushed motor toy drone with a 720p FPV camera and GPS capability. What else do we got? Uh, the battery for it is a 7.4 volt uh, LiPo battery with red JST connector. You should be able to find other 7.4 volt batteries that will fit in there that you could use with this if you don't want to use this one. But this is 7.4 volts at 850 milliamp per hour. And it should give us over 10 minutes of flight time. We'll find out if that's true. Uh, other things you get with the drone. You get prop guards if you want to fly this indoors. I don't know why you'd want to be flying a GPS drone indoors, but you, it does have prop guards. If you go outdoors, do not put these on, folks. Uh, you're just going to... These end up as sails in the wind, or if you end up in a tree, they end up as hooks. <laughs> so they hook these drones in trees. Many a drone has been lost due to these things, is what I'm trying to say, folks. So... You only use these indoors to uh, prevent your drone from bumping into the lamp or people or your pets. <laughs> um, other things you get. You get this package filled with spare propellers. You get a full set of spare propellers. You get the battery charger for this. This is the battery charger. 7.4 volt battery charger that you can plug into a micro or into a USB port. Um, USB wall charger for your phone would, is what you would use mainly to charge that battery. And also you get instructions for both the drone and also instructions for the VS GPS app, which unfortunately does not, the version that this requires, VS GPS is on Google Play, but that does not seem to work with this particular drone. You're going to need to use the one that comes from China, the very VS GPS from China, to get uh, the app to work with this drone. Because I tried the Google Play version and it does not work, but the China version did work. Let's go over the controller now before we go any further. This is its controller, uh, very well labeled. Now this one here is your rates uh, button. This is your return to home button right there. This button here is circle position. This You can do circle position without using the app. And that's pretty cool on this drone. Uh, you don't really need the app uh, to do the circle position. You just press that button there. Um, it has headless mode, which you activate by pressing this button here. You can turn off the GPS by pressing this button here, or turn it back on. You unlock the motors for flight by pressing this button here. You can do a uh, compass calibration by pressing this button here, and I'll demonstrate that one before we go flying, how to do a compass calibration. And you can do a uh, gyro calibration of the gyro sensors by pressing this button here by, while the drone is on a flat level surface and powered up. And finally, uh, return to home and landing is this button here, and not finally. <laughs> uh, 
these buttons here these buttons here on the shoulder this is to raise and to lower the gimbal of the camera point the camera up or down but again unfortunately mine seems to be defective so I won't be able to demonstrate that particular feature so in a nutshell that is the HY83 GPS drone oh I forgot to mention this drone uses 2.4 gigahertz for the Wi-Fi it's not a 5G Wi-Fi flyer as advertised the advertisement also says this is a 1080p camera it's not it's a 720p camera so it uses 2.4 gigahertz um, most people will be able to use this drone with their phone the problem being with 2.4 gigahertz is that you're not going to get very good range as you would get with a 5 gigahertz system 5 gigahertz you can probably go at 200 close to 300 meters uh, with this 2.4 gigahertz uh, we're going to probably see about 70 meters maximum range but we'll confirm that when we go flying so let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we're out at uh, my local flying field that I like to uh, fly these smaller drones at. Uh, first thing we need to do is, I have the drone already plugged in, so all we need to do is turn it on. The on-off switch is nearby where the, the plug is for this particular drone. You slide it back, and we got lights are on. Now the first thing I want to do is bind it to the drone. And I think this automatically binds. Let me double check that. Yeah, that, that automatically binds. But we're going to do a uh, compass calibration and to do such we got to press this button here like I told you, you press this button here and the lights should be now flashing on the drone they are flashing rapidly and what you need to do folks to do a compass calibration this is simple you just do figure eights and it's done <laughs> very quick very fast but just a figure eight movement like so with the drone and that will give you a compass calibration so uh, let me uh, attach my phone to the controller and then we'll go open up the app and then we'll go for a flight of this so hang on folks okay this is the VS GPS app and uh, as you can see here we have 23 satellites tuned in now once you have sufficient satellites um, the controller will beep you'll hear a beep and that tells you you're ready to go uh, you will not be able to start the motors until uh, you have sufficient satellites to take off so keep that in mind, folks. If your motors aren't starting, if they spin up just momentarily, that means you don't have sufficient satellites. You have to wait until you have enough satellites. Now I'm going to start recording the video, and I'm going to hit the video recording button. And we are now recording to my phone. And I'm going to bring both sticks down and inboard to start the motors, and then give throttle to take off. And let's see how stable it is. I'm not moving. Nice and stable, folks. Very nice and stable. Um, I have a lot of signal on my, hold on. I got to land it, folks. I got problems with my, and I'm going to talk about this. Three, two, one. There's one thing I hate about these particular type of phone holders, and I'll show you the problem here, is on my phone and a lot of other phones, the on-off switch is on the side of the phone. And when you insert it inside these type of controllers, like such, um, it will turn the phone off, <laughs> okay? They really, really need to stop using these type of controllers. They're just not good for my phone. <laughs> so, uh, you hear that, uh, people, designers out there? These type of controllers or type of phone holders are just awful. They're awful. Change them. Get something different so that they don't turn the phones off. Okay, uh, I had to put some tissue in there so it won't uh, shut off my phone. But okay, I started the camera again. We were ready to take off again. Uh, bring both sticks down and inboard. Giving throttle. Taken to the air. Stabil it's still stable. Let me get in the picture. Come down a bit. And say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? Now you know where I'm from. <laughs> For those of you who haven't figured it out or haven't told already, but yeah, I'm from Pittsburgh. Okay, uh, first thing I want to test is range of this drone. Let's send it up and send it above the trees. Going above the trees, looking at my FPV, looking good, and then pushing forward, not behind. Let's go out and see how far we can go in this 2.4 gigahertz flyer. Okay, already I'm losing signal. Okay, right about there. We're, we got we still have signal, uh, FPV signal, but we're only at a range of about 37 meters. Let's go out a little. We're actually, from there, let me rotate from while we're there, and let's just rotate around the area. 
showing the area from that distance at 30, 40 meters away. And I'm noticing choppy video because of the 2.4 gigahertz we're using. Um, that's to be expected. 2.4 gigahertz does that. Turn to the left a bit. I want to fly toward, uh, I'm going to fly diagonally over toward the skate park. Let's see if we can go that, how far we can go toward that skate park. Pushing forward. Going to the left, and it's getting real choppy. It's still flying. Went up higher, but it's very, very, very choppy. At about 76 meters or so. Okay, that's about as far as I'm going to go. I lost FPV signal. Let's do the return to home now. Pressing the return to home button from about 80 meters away. Let's see how accurate that return to home is. I press the button again. Does that stop it? It stops it. Pressing it one more time. Okay, I accidentally pressed it two times. It's coming back. I can see it up there. Coming back real fast. Coming overhead. Let's see how accurate the landing is from way up there. It's directly overhead. Knowing it's returned to home and it's coming down. How's my FPV looking? And it's beeping as it's coming down. This is letting you know it's coming down. And we'll see how accurate that return to home and landing is. Well, there's what took off. Uh, about a, one and a half meters away. So that's how accurate it is. <laughs> not the best return to home in the world, but not too bad. Okay, let's stop that video. And restart the video again. And we're going to try to follow me next. Video is started. Starting the motors, taking off, and I want to go over here, and I'm going to get about, I don't know, about 20 meters away before I actually hit follow me. Sometimes you have to fly with the app only to do, for follow me to work. We'll find out if that's true with this particular drone. Hitting follow me. Follow me is activated. Will it follow? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it follows me as I move away from it. Let's come down lower. Okay, old man running. Let's see. Actually, this follow me works pretty well on this. Running away. Old man running away. Again, folks, if I drop, call 911. Okay. Okay, it's slowly turning toward me. It's still turning toward me. There I am again. Hi. What if I walk toward it? What if I run toward it? Let's see what happens. Well, we'll figure out it has to run away from me. <laughs> Going toward it, it's not as smooth. Okay, that's follow me. Follow me does work on this. How about waypoints? I don't think waypoints is going to work as well. Turn it off, follow me. And selecting waypoints. And I am not getting any. Oh, there we go. Let's see if it can find its position. Center position. It thinks it's in Venezuela or Brazil. Pressing again. Now, oh no, where are we at? Oh, there we go. It is working. There's Leroy Jackson Park. Zooming in. Yeah, let's see if we can select a waypoint. Valid coordinate point. Zooming in some more. I guess you got to be real zoomed in. How about here? Here. And then hit send. There it goes. To the coordinate point. So waypoints work, surprisingly. I am surprised. Surprisingly. And let's delete. I'm trying to pull it back. Okay, let's return to home from over there. And it climbs. Climbs up. I don't know what the altitude it climbs to. We're about to find out. It's 16. Does it go about 20 meters, I'm guessing? Yeah, about 20 meters, and then it does the return to home. And... 
lying back from over there where it was. So the waypoints actually work. You, you just draw a waypoint and then hit submit and then it'll um, fly to that waypoint. So pretty darn cool. Let's come out of this waypoint view. Hitting waypoints again to come out of that view. And uh, what haven't we done? We did circle me, we did, oh, circle position. When it gets down low enough, let's say that's our position where we want to fly. I'm going to stop the return to home right there. Just wanting to go all the way to the ground. Okay, that video I'm going to stop. And starting the video one more time. And starting the motors. Taking the air. Okay, at that height there, let's hit circle position. And the radius we want to make, uh, I'm trying to type, but let's make the radius 10 meters. 10 meters. Hit done and confirm. And let's go at 10 meters from my position. Is it going to turn toward me? That's the question. Yeah, there it does. It automatically turns toward me. And then circles the position where it was at when you hit 10 meters. So this actually works very well too. Let's see if I can come down lower so you can see me. <laughs> you know, this one is actually very nice. Um, it actually, everything seems to work on it, uh, which I'm kind of surprised, with the exception of the up-down uh, camera. But you can manually move that up or down before your flight. But, uh, wow, I, I'm just impressed at it. Uh, this is actually working because I've been through so many of these GPS, these uh, toy grade GPS drones, and most of them are terrible. But uh, this one's not too bad. Now it's climbing on its own. That means it's probably low battery. Let me look, 21%. So by 21%, it's climbing. So on low battery, it climbs, and I'm guessing it's going to do return to home and landing. Let's find out. Does it come back toward me? Yes, it does. So on low battery, wherever it's at. It'll climb up to 20 meters, do a return to home, and then land itself. So all in all, this hasn't been too bad. I kind of like it. And I hear a helicopter. I gotta land real quick, folks. Here it comes, it's, <laughs> think it's coming down. So hold on, folks. We'll be right back after this helicopter passes. Well, in addition to returning to home and landing on its own, it also, listen, it also beeps on low battery. So you get both a beeping warning, you get uh, blinking lights, and automatic return to home and landing. What more can you ask for? So this one's actually pretty cool. The, the only thing I didn't like about it, again, is mine seems to be defective, the up-down switch, and also I don't like this phone holder, but you can get around it by jamming anything in there. I use tissue paper to, to give it some space so it doesn't shut off my phone. So, not too bad for the, uh, this, this little drone. Little toy grade GPS, here, let me turn this off. Little toy grade GPS with uh, pretty cool features that actually work. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this flight, Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you wanna get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple, just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.